exclusive interview with the other half of the loonies. What's going on, man? Chilling, man. Man, the, the man that don't need no introduction, Mr. Nuscar himself, man. What's happening? I'm all right, man. I'm just, uh, you know, yeah. loving life, man. Chilling with the family. Hey, there it is, man. 2024, bro. Thank you so much for taking the time, man, to meet with me. All good. Appreciate that, man. Um, so let's let's kick it off, bro. What year did you and Yuck actually hit off with the loonies, bro? I, I, I would love to hear that from you, bro. Well, we actually set it off in like 92 when we did the first album, the Looney yeah, Tunes exactly. album. And, yeah. uh, you know, we all know 95 after that, you know? Yeah. Yes, exactly. sir. That was that was the that was the good times right there, man. It was you know, niggas from the street. We didn't know what the fuck we was gonna do, and yeah. the music came along for us. Man, that shit came out so damn dope. I mean, how does that feel, bro? Like to till this day now that you you two had the the hardest not not only the song. I mean, the whole album was hitting, bro. But um, just like when you guys came out with that, and then all of a sudden the remix too, bro. When that hit, yeah, the remix was uh that was fire, man. To be able to do that with all of those artists that we grew up listening to, yeah, best thing ever, man. I mean, the studio session was off the hook. Fody drunk right. as fuck. He had to come back <laughs> the next day and do his vocals. But uh, <laughs> that was some memorable shit right there, man. It was everybody in the studio together. You don't, you don't get that nowadays. Nah, man. And, and it's, it's sad that no one recorded that. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there any footage of it? I don't think so. I've never seen any. Damn, bro. That would have been classic material, bro. Like, where, I mean, where's, where's the cam? Like, I know back in the days it was hard to say who's holding this big old camcorder. You feel me? But, but man, would that have, would that would have been so dope? That so would have, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been hard. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, that's why we. That's why I'm recording everything now. Every right? anywhere I go, yeah, man. I just came back from uh from Germany, and yeah, uh, yeah I got all of that footage. So, I and mean, I'm going back on the 23rd. So yeah, I'm getting that's, all of that. Hey, that's that's dope, man. I can't wait yeah. to see that too. Because nowadays you can you can create a damn movie if you wanted to. You feel me with all kind of footage Absolutely. that you have? Absolutely. That people, a lot of people don't know. I um, I have a my alter ego is called Spike Leroy, and I shoot videos go. and shit around here for for some of my artists, right? Yeah. And I use my iPhone to shoot yeah. these videos. People don't understand how that i that that camera on the iPhone is retarded. It is ridiculous. I go up against anybody with a camera with yeah. my iPhone. Crazy, huh? Yep. And and then the editing skills on the cam on the iPhone too is dope. Shit. Oh, I use Final Cut Pro for that, but yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I know. But if you need to get down real quick, you can do it. You can knock. Oh yeah, out. yeah, it works definitely. Hell yeah, man. Um, so that studio time for that uh for that remix, how long did it take? Cause there's a lot of you guys on there. We that was that was an all night session, so you know we didn't get out to about three four in the morning. Damn. You know, yeah. yeah. Well, what was it? Six people on that on that remix, I think. So yeah, yeah. Was, yeah and everybody got their own egos. Everybody could do shit on their own time. You know what I mean? So yeah. But definitely. it ended up, it ended up working out for us. Yeah, definitely a classic, man. Especially you know now when it comes on now these days, everybody knows the lyrics. Oh it's yeah. Every damn artist too. Don't matter. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. That's dope, man. Well, thank you for breaking that down, bro. Sure. Thank you for breaking it down. Um, I know, I know. As as the Loonies progressed, I came out with the Silver and Black, um, and then bam. I, I don't know what happened. The fallout. What 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 occurred that that kept that duel from from um continuing that recording? You know what I mean? Continuing. Me, me and me and Yuck, we've been. Fighting since we was young. I mean, that was just, yeah. you know, brother fighting shit like that. We, we would always fall out over some bullshit. But sure. always come back together and, you know, get this shit done. I mean, people used to say, them niggas wouldn't have good music unless they argue. If they didn't argue, they wouldn't have good music. And yeah. shit, it, it kind of felt like that, too. But yeah. nowadays, I don't get it, man. You know what I mean? You yeah. grow up. You know what I mean? People have to yeah. grow up. I have. You know what I mean? And sure. I, I, I've learned. I learned from my mistakes, and I move on. Yeah. Yeah. The crazy part is, what's going on between me and him is not my mistakes. You know what I mean? My mistakes sure. I made. I made years ago, and that's it. Was that shit that been it that uh, fucked me up personally? Yeah. It had nothing sure. to do with nobody else. You know what I mean? We all go right. through that shit. But the shit that's going on right now, bro. I, I really, honestly, I couldn't even tell you what it is. Honestly. Yeah. 
Yeah. I can't. I don't know what the fuck that nigga problem is with me. But hey, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm yeah. just not gonna be no yes man from nobody. Niggas thought I was gonna come out of prison and be some kind of sucker that was bound down. Nigga, nah, nigga, I'm coming home to get my fifty percent of this shit. You know what I mean? For real. Yeah. And that's what it was. The motherfuckers that I mean, I guess all them years that I was gone, you know, the money, the money niggas like oh uh, keeping all that money and shit, and you get comfortable with that. Right. I, but understand, nigga, that ain't yours. That's right. ours. Right. That's yeah. ours. So yeah. I I mean, I don't get it, man. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. like I said, I'm overseas doing my shit, doing tours and everything. So hey, yeah. you don't want to make no money with me. I mean, we can get money. We can get so much money together, man. So mm-hmm. much money. That's, that's crazy. why that's why I say I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. And I, I think the rest of the world don't either, bro. Um and, yeah. and, and you know, it's it's not even about jumping into details and nothing like that. It's just more about, damn, like you said, y'all could be freaking stacking right now. You feel me? Yeah. Like nonstop, yeah. bro. I know what, um, and you and you ask and you ask anybody, they ask the dude, like, what's why you ain't fucking with them? And he'll make up some shit about me or some shit, man. And it's like, when do you when do you get over, first of all, yourself? When do you get over your own fucking ego thinking that you can do this shit alone? Because you're not getting no shows as yuck mouth. You getting shows as the loonies, nigga. And that ain't the loonies. So when do you get over yourself, man, and, and understand that the money, if you wanna make it, is bigger with both of us. I don't yeah. get it. Yeah, and 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 I know cats is always probably asking too because when they see those images online when they uh they post and say oh we're touring the loonies and it's you know definitely not you there. It's, uh, yeah, I don't get it. You know what I mean, you know, you know what I do know that was dope as fuck when okay the, that whatever fallout happened and all of a sudden on that done deal compilation they 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 released a track when y'all were going back and forth. Um, just basically. Well, so, what was that? Remember, th- there's this one song. It's a, it's called uh, "Heated Speeches" compilation. It's a d- from Done Deal, Chuck and them with San Quinn. I don't know if you remember it or not, but they have a song. I didn't know on that. It. So I didn't know that song. I know what the song you're talking about. I know. I didn't think it ever came out. Yep, that shit came out, bro. And hmm. and you know, every time you and 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 Yuck connect, no matter what kind of track it is, this shit goes, man. Yeah. And when, yeah, and then when that one came out, and there's People were like saying, "Oh shit, they're kind of basically going back and forth at each other." Whatever you guys was on this verse on this track, and then pretty much saying you guys squashed it. Right? Yeah, this whatever. was. Yeah, this was a while ago. This was um, shit. This was when I was still living in L.A. and and I'm, I I went to his house because I was gonna do an album. Uh, he had a studio yeah. before I did, and I was gonna go to his house and record this album. And I was like, you know what? Everybody think we still beef it. Let's just go ahead and let's do a song. And and it, this will be therapy for me and you too. I'm like, we can just, we'll talk about each other. You know what I mean? We'll get at each yeah. other on the same song, right? Sitting here writing it together. And yeah. and at the end, you know, we let motherfuckers know it's brotherly love. And, you know, this is how brother fight and shit like that. And that's how, that's how that song came about. I never thought it came out though, honestly. Oh, man. You got to, hey, look it up, man. Cause, uh, I mean, you wrote the damn song, but. Now, if you hear it here, if you hear it now, that shit's mm-hmm. hard, bro. Like, yeah, okay. And, and you kind of, but too, feel me? Like, because you're like, yeah, okay, you guys was going at it, and Yuck saying he's saying what he's saying about you, and you're saying what he's saying about him, right? And then I'm like, and that shit went hard, so I just had yeah. to bring that, bring it up. That was there. That was that. That I was hoping it would be therapy for both of us. You know what I mean? And but yeah, I don't know. Nah. Um, can can you see yourself and and Yuck just doing things? finally let me tell you man i i i'm i'm always for this music man music yeah. being on that stage that's my second home so yeah, yeah hell yeah i'm always willing to do that but okay. it'll be a couple of things that's got to happen before that you know what i mean motherfuckers yeah. got to come to terms with they self you know what i mean right if you if i can get along with anybody man i'm a people person that's just how i've been my whole life yeah i'm willing to work with this cat man but the, all the bullshit has to stop you can't you can't you can't get on your podcast and I'm talking to him. You can't get on your podcast and talk about me the next day after we just did a show and shit. That right there, that's some other type of shit. I don't get that. You know what I mean? That is some kind of shit right there. Because yeah, I mean, mean go, go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. No, if you're going to be my folks, if you're going to yeah. be my folks, I mean, we've been friends for 30 years. If you're going to be my brother, like I've been calling you for 30 years, then that's what you be. Yeah. That's facts. That's facts right there, bro. And and it, the the simple fact that you guys can just pick up the phone and just knock the shit out. 
and be like, all right, and fuck it. Trust me, trust me. I've tried. And it yeah. ain't like I, I'm, I'm not I'm not calling this dude because I need him to get money or nothing. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's I'm calling you because we started that together. The yeah. people want it. Why are we yeah. not giving it to them? You know what I mean? Yeah. I have not got the answer. I don't. I don't. Um, my calls have not been picked up. You know yeah. what I mean? My messages, nothing. nothing. So, and he'll he'll tell people on this podcast and shit that it's me who ain't answering. Come on, man. Yeah. It's and, bullshit. And, and literally for for just to let the world know, I mean, for me, I was just, you know what I'm saying? I was hitting you, let's do this, let's connect. I mean, it was easy peasy, you feel me? Like, right. hey. And then anybody the, can get in touch with me, and he know that. Everybody, yeah. anybody. I'm an open book, man, motherfuckers. I, shit, you want my number? Hit me up. It's, it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. That's dope, man. Well, uh, I hope that, um, you know, shit changes. I know that you posted something on, on your story, and it had mm-hmm. Michael Marshall. Michael Marshall on there singing and saying, yeah, yeah we, we did a show together. And I was like trying to, I was juiced. Cause I was like, yeah, I want to see this. I want to see mm-hmm. that. I was trying to find some footage, but I couldn't find it. What is yeah, that? It was just, it was just, uh, we did a, a show in Sacramento. I did a show in Sacramento and, uh, Mike Marshall came through and we did five on it. We had, I had never realized Mike Marshall had never performed with us before. I never crazy. even realized that. Yeah. Yeah. He, he mentioned it in a, in an interview, I think a few years back and I couldn't believe it either. I was like, what? Never, it was just all played, replayed, like, damn. Yeah, yeah. All them tour, all that touring and shit we did, it's like, and it was so, it was so huge and chaotic. I never even stopped to think, like, damn, where Mike Marshall at? Yeah. Never, not one time. And that's, For real. that's crazy, man. That's how that life gets to you, bro. That's, that. Yeah, that's crazy. And then, dude, 2024, bro, I really hope that shit gets, whatever is going on, bro, I really hope that shit just gets fucking, like flattened out, bro, and then y'all just start working together, bro. Because me and you both, man, me and you both. Because literally, that shit would be some dope ass music, and and now knowing with the production and all that shit coming out nowadays, bro, that shit would be hard, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's look at the music industry right now, man. It's done. It's done. Yeah. yeah. It's exactly. coming. It's um, it's going towards. I'm. I. I think it's going towards people being more independent without this industry. Yeah. That's what I think. I mean, they well, got, at, they got go apps ahead. and shit that's coming out. They got platforms that are coming out where motherfuckers is selling directly to, to the customer. You know what I mean? That's yeah. how, that's what artists, we, that's what we've been waiting for. That's how it should be. I should be able yeah. to sell to you and you buy from me. Hell that's yeah. it. We don't need well, no middleman. Ha- nah, look at what happened to Kanye West. His shit got pulled off of Apple. You know what I mean? Just it's a control. It. It's a it's control, man. If, yeah. if they can, if they're able to turn you off, if they're yep. able to turn you on, they're able to turn you off. Put it like that. And and people was hitting me. Hey, did you hear the Kanye? This, you know, I got you know people that love dude, and I'm like, nah, I didn't even know the shit was out. Mm-hmm. Supposedly he dropped it, and then something happened on Apple. They pulled it, but it's still on Spotify. And I'm like, come on, bro. See, that's that control, man. Yeah. I'm not that's with that shit, man. I'm fuck fuck your control. I've always gone against the government, man. I'm that's not me. <laughs> I mean, we got to use some of this shit, you know what I mean? That that yeah. we know is, is bad for us, but we need it, you know what I mean? And they know that shit, but it's all it's all about control, man. Yeah, and and I'm glad you touched on that, man, cuz I mean, your thoughts in regards to what was then compared to what is now, huge difference, bro. Especially yeah, the absolutely. way Hey, bro, like, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, how do how do yeah. you Really feel about that though? Like, do you think it should go back to selling products like CDs and all that shit, or just continue to keep it digitally? Um, because I mean, believe it or not, people still knock CDs. Absolutely. Look, man. Look, when it, well, when it comes to the government shit and all, and and look, we loved all the platforms that's out here. We love it. That's we love to use this stuff. But it's yeah. used for bad. It's used against us. That's the fucked up part. Like, I don't want to have to get on YouTube or get on Instagram and know that all my information is being, consi- being uh, taken by this government and they can use that shit against me. I don't want, that's, what what, what type of shit is that? It's like everything yeah. that's created, the military gets it and uses it as weaponry. Come on, man. Yeah. What the fuck? You niggas is just nothing but warmongers and control freaks. Just cut it out. Let the people be the people. That's how I feel yeah. about it. Yeah, that's dope. What 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 do you what is your thoughts in regards to how the Bay Area is coming out, man? Like Oakland, because Richie Rich just dropped some shit, and we we leaked that shit on our YouTube channel too, where Rich is saying 
Get the fuck out of California. Yeah, I, saw it. I heard it. I mean, California is my home, man. I, I mean, I've been all over the world. Been around the world seven yeah. times. But this is my home. I'm not what for the fuck? I'm not going nowhere. For what? <laughs> For real, what? For I understand what he's saying. I understand that. Yeah. And for a lot of people, especially how it is in, with this gentrification and all this shit in, in, in Oakland right now, I understand what he's saying. But I'm not going no motherfucking where. This is my home. I'm 50 years old. What the fuck I look like yeah. finding a new place to live? I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And that's facts, man. And I'm sure you probably set up already, you know what I mean? Like how you should be. But I mean, a lot of people aren't, you know what I mean? Yeah, and like I said, it, it, for some people, for some, you know, it, it doesn't, fuck California, fuck any other state. If you having a bad time and a bad situation in this place, get the fuck out. Go to the next. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, I'm with that. Go to the next. Go find something else. Some better greens. But shit, I, my my greens are good here. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. And not to say that yeah. I don't hate what's going on out, out here because the homeless shit is fucked up and they doing this yep. shit on purpose. You know what I mean? So, yes, it's fucked up, but what can we do? Yeah. I know what we can do. We all need to stop funking with each other and go against these motherfuckers. That's what we got to yeah. do. Yeah. If we don't do that, we fucked. Yeah, for sure. Stick together. Always. And push. But we hate and, we, and, we hate each other too much to stick together. That's true, man. I, I, it's sad that it's, that's the, it's like that, but it's, it's the truth. No one nowadays, just look at it. No more kids in the streets. No more nothing in the streets. Everyone's kind of like to their own, to their self. No, nah, they're looking Don't at look Sexy at... Red. <laughs> <laughs> sexy Red. Man, talk about that, man. Come on, bro. That, bro. This is... that shit like that, music like that is nothing but an attack on uh, rap music. That's what that is, yeah. man. People don't see it as that. They are attacking, well, attacking us through our own fucking music. That shit is yeah. crazy to me, man. And and motherfuckers buy this shit. It's because of the ignorance of, the, of some of these motherfuckers. I hate, I hate some of my uh, my people, man. I, honestly, yeah. I hate some of them. Cause the fuck are you doing? What 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 the fuck is this? Yeah. You know what I mean? I never. I've ne when I grew up, we never had uh, our women, our beautiful black women, with they ass out all fucking day. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Right. You know I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Women look beautiful. Women are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But, every, but everybody don't need to see that because that's how everybody he think the whole black community is. All the other races think the black community is like that. That's yeah. fucked up. And it's on purpose. That's crazy. Look at the kids, bro. The fucking kids out here twerking and shit. I mean, they've been doing that, but that's not cool, man. You got these little five-year-olds singing fucking pound town and shit. That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. That's the parents' fault. You stupid ass yeah. motherfuckers, man! Y'all dumb as fuck. Yeah, different. Hey, but different times though. No, I mean, you know what I'm saying. What people are doing nowadays, man. We no one ever thought that shit would ever be seen. You feel me? Mm -hmm. never, never to this day. I, I mean, I, I can't explain it. Now that you see shit happening nowadays, and man, that I drove down Hagenberger the other day. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, yeah, crazy, bro. I don't give right. a fuck what what happened to Oakland, nigga. I don't. I'm nigga. I've never been scared of my my city. I'm all through Oakland, man. I'm, I will yeah. always be. Fuck that. Yeah. I'm not gonna let these people run me out of up out of my city. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we said, need to. Yeah. I'm well, nigga. If I can take Oakland back by myself, I would. Absolutely. Oakland is a beautiful place, man. We got so much history in Oakland. It's ridiculous. Crazy, man. Can't let that and go, man. No, nah, hell no, nah, not at all, bro. Not at all. But I'm glad you touched on it because I mean it's important to say. You feel me? And I know a lot of people feel the same way. Absolutely. You're not yeah, not you're not alone, man. There's a lot of people. Um, but Oakland is dope. What how do you see um the new artists that are coming out of it? I know Filthy Rich signed a bunch of people and put them on FOD. I know you say you got a lot of artists out there. Uh, what what do you what what's your what's your thoughts on Oakland itself with the music? The the oak the music in Oakland right now. I don't know, man. I can't I'm, I don't, I can't say that I, I'll put some shit on right now from Oakland and listen to it. I can't yeah. say that because I yeah. don't. Yeah. But I do like some stuff. I mean, my nigga, my, the mechanics, my folks right there. And yeah, they I always, know. they always come up with shit that's mean, you know, that, that they love to do. And I love that. Yeah. But Oakland music, man, is there some Oakland music? Is there yeah. Oakland rap scene? 
I mean, there's a lot of artists still floating around out there, man. I mean, I try to do something with, with DB the General the other day because he dropped some video going at Filthy and all this other crazy stuff, man. But I never got was able to sit down with dude to help to help him push it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's there's shit going on, but what, what I don't I do the beef. It? I don't do the beef thing, man. That's yeah, what I'm not sure. gonna do. I'm too old yeah. for that shit. And why am I funking with you? And we got all these motherfuckers. We gotta funk. We gotta funk with. We gotta funk with this. This whole white supremacy thing. We gotta funk with that. I ain't funking with you. For what? Yeah. Nah, for fuck real. that shit. I don't even. I don't even know why you would have funk with it. With anyone, period. That beef shit is stupid, man. Yeah. Even though I look Thank back when I look back on the shit that we funking with too short and all that shit. For yeah. what? It was over some. It was over a nigga who ain't even fuck with no more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. gonna beef with motherfuckers, and then that shit's just gonna be passing to the asses of history. So crazy. Why even go through it, man? Yeah, and I agree. And then beef alone also too kind of restricts you. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't want to even deal with it. They don't yeah. even want to hear. It. Like, man, keep that shit away from me. Um, but it also sells too. There's a lot of people that love controversy. You feel me? So they do, and I don't like those people. I don't fuck yeah. with them people. You want drama? I I can't do it. That's why. That's why right now I really don't even. Call this nigga yuck because I don't want the drama, man. Yeah, I'm too old for that shit, man. My family, my family is right here comfortable, man. Why will I upset that? Yeah, I agree. I can't, I can't upset that. Yeah, and you, you hit that shit right on the nail, bro. Like, why even, why even go there with it, bro? You guys got so much fucking history, bro. It should just be like, hey, come here, give me a hug, bro. Let's go. Come on, let's knock this shit out. Absolutely, absolutely. I still consider that nigga my brother. Even, even the fucked up shit that he's done to me and said about me. The lies that he spread about me, you know. What I mean, I, I I'm willing to just throw that yoke off. Like, yeah, nigga had a nigga had some bad times. You you was thinking wrong at that time. Cool, but yeah. come to me and tell me you love me, bro. Yeah, because that's how it's supposed to be. Instead of going on the internet and just going off, you won't see me on this motherfucker talking about nobody and my problems. You know what I mean? Yeah. I will go on. I will go on every now and then and defend myself for sure because yeah. I don't need everybody hearing the bullshit all the time. You tell a lie yeah. so much they start to believe it. Yeah. So I have sure. to get out there sometimes and defend myself. But besides that, you don't see me on this motherfucker. I'm not a social dude. I'm going to talk yeah. to a nigga, I'm going to talk to him in his face. Bottom line. Yeah. Well said. Um. Uh, what? You know what I, I've always wondered, man? Like you, with you guys with so much history, how come you guys haven't hit like different kind of interview plateaus with like Vlad TV or like crazy like interview shows out. I'm what? not fucking with Vlad. Vlad. I ain't, I'm not getting on that shit. <laughs> I'm not. I don't. But I never trust the dude. I never trust the dude ever. Yeah. Why? Is He's that? a fuck. He. I mean, to me, remind me of a fucking cop. Yeah. But basically, I'm not getting yeah. on it. Good to know. Good to know. I mean, I'm glad I'm asked too, because I mean, a lot of people do ask because. They always have these, like, just like Spice One was on, uh, forget what what uh, interview he was on there, but he was giving some some deep, dope, you know, interview about what he did with Tupac and and what, I think it was Dialogue or something, something like that. But, I mean, that would be dope to get y'all on there. You know what I mean? Something something different where both of y'all are on there. Yeah, absolutely. I was just talking, uh, I was texting with uh, Spice One uh, two days ago. Good dude, man. Yeah. Always, yeah. always had love for uh, Spice One. Oh yeah, Mr. Chico himself, man. Yes, sir. Man, and then I, I was just hitting him up. I'm about to have him up next too, cause uh, he's got man, he's got a lot of interesting stories to tell too, bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. That's so, my guy right there. Good dude. Yeah, hella history, man. Hella history. Good job. But um, you did say you had some artists, bro. You wanna you wanna shine some light on on uh, what what's your next move moving forward, man? Cause obviously we talked about the past and the present, but what's what's up with the future? Right now, I'm shit. I'm a, I'm. Uh, touring overseas right now. I'll be there until I'll be touring out there until the summertime. But um, yeah, I only took this tour honestly because I have two artists that I want to, I guess, pass the torch to or or give them a chance to get their core fans. You know what I mean? One is yeah. my son, and I know when people talk about their kids, you know, yeah, my and all that shit. Nah, man, I love what my son does as as yeah. as a person. First of all. But when I came when I came home from the pen, he's like, Dad, I wanna drop out of college. I'm like, okay, I mean, well, what did you you know, I don't I don't give a fuck about college anyway. They don't teach you shit. But <laughs> I ain't I ain't tell him that. I'm like, 
so what do you uh what do you want to do? He's like, I want to rap. I'm like, all right, well, if you're gonna do that, you gotta learn everything there is to know about the history of hip hop. So right now that boy can tell you anything. Anything. So I said, okay, you got that. The boy is raw, and I have to give him a shot. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing with him when I'm over uh, overseas, letting him get some core fans. And Essential from Oakland is another artist I'm working with. Okay. Dope, dope, dope dude. Yeah. Oh. So those two, that's who I'm working with. I'm working with um another group out of uh, uh Reno. What? Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool Biz. It's a uh, it's another company with my best friend, and he got a uh, couple of artists on there, so we all working together. Man, I can't wait to hear it, bro. For sure. It. I love music, man. Yeah, music is music. Music is everything, man. That vibration, man. It works. Yeah. Therapeutic, bro. Yes, sir. Especially when you get in the car. I, for me, everyone's like, "Oh, listen to the AirPod. Listen to the AirPod." I'm like, "Bro, I gotta hear that shit in the car, bro." I gotta yeah. have full. I gotta have full full twelves in my shit all the time. Yeah. I'm knocking. <laughs> hey, man, like how how Andre Nicotina, Mr. Dre, dog, four fifteens in the trunk. That's beat. Come here, cause absolutely. That's yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, man. Music is everything, man. Honestly, music can yeah. take your music can it can make you put you in a fucked up mood <laughs> yeah. or it can it can make that mood something great for you. Yeah, man. For sure. For sure. Um, look, man, I don't want to I don't want to take too much of your time. I know it's it's in the it's evening. It's all good, man. It's all good. I, I, I do want to ask. Um, what can I, I would love to get you and Yuck on here, bro. Like, like on this, bro. And I'm throwing that out there as an idea. Um, I, I am gonna reach out to Yuck. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it would be a dope thing in, in the back end. Um, and to get y'all both talking about some, bro. Like, what happened out there? Anytime. Like, you know? Anytime. Man, I would, I would love that, bro. So I'm just, I'm just throwing you, letting you know that I'm, I'm throwing that idea out, and I'm gonna reach out and try to, try to get that connected. You feel me? Because I'm, I think that, um. What you guys did had is a lot of history, man, and and people would love to hear that, bro. Like, Absolutely. Like, like I, I had connected with Mac Ten and and uh, I mean not Mac Ten with Ad Capone from Totally Insane and same mm -hmm. shit. Mac Ten don't want to do music no more, but just could you imagine how powerful that would be to get both of them back? Yeah, do some good shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, Absolutely. You and you and that? Well, man, that would be crazy, bro. Yeah. Oh man. Um. One one thing too, man. Yeah. A lot of people ain't. I mean, I don't hear a lot of people talking about my guy on um on, on social. I'm not really on social that much, but yeah. Shock G, man, I miss you, bro. I yeah. miss you, man. I love you to this day. I know you right here with me. That's yeah. that that was a that was a that was a loss to music right there. Honestly, for, for real, bro. My guy, right. man. That's another that's another story in itself, bro. Definitely. He touched a lot. Hey, he touched a lot of souls, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, before we go, you got you got a little story about him that you can share with us that, that you know what I'm saying that you would love for the world to know. Man, I got so many stories about that dude. I was on tour with Shock for five years straight. This one, me and Yuck wasn't really fucking with each other, and that's where I learned how to perform. Man, I learned how to do a show through that from that dude. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers just get on stage and just rap. Nah, man. Nah, -uh. that's not what a show is. You know what I mean? That's why I'm out. That's why I'm I'm able to do this shit right now because I make a show. I I I, I perform for the people, man. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. If you're not up there performing your music, what the fuck is you doing? Yeah. What is you doing? Just going out, man. That motherfucker said, "Yo, Jay Z got one of the weakest shows." I bet he don't now. Because he <laughs> he, really? he heard about that shit, nigga. You can't just stand up there and do that shit. You gotta yeah. perform for the people. You know what I mean? For real. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're doing their damn thing. I think I, I saw freaking a Beyonce. I don't fuck line. with Jay Z. Period. Nah, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga ain't for the people. I'm just, I just brought his name. I'm talking about show. That nigga ain't for the people. No, that nigga's a fucking blood sucker. Fuck him. Yeah, and, and a lot of these motherfuckers. Fuck them all. Them niggas. If let's put it like this, if you that big, you ain't fucking with the people. Bottom line, you ain't that. You know, you, you can't be fucking with the people. Cause that evilness around your ass, and I don't. I'm not a nigga who believe in God and all that old shit. I believe in energy. Feel you feel me? I believe in what's around me. But them motherfuckers is bad, man. And I stay. I I stay far away from them. You ever met them? All of them. Met all of them. Been around right. all of them, and can't stand none of them motherfuckers. They not real. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, and I'm, anybody can be like, well, what's real? What's real? And I believe in me. That's what's real. So yeah. I consider myself real because I believe in me. Yeah. These motherfuckers, these motherfuckers is some, some controlled pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. Sure. And I can't fuck with none of them, man. I don't want myself in that. I don't want I don't want that energy. I'm cool. Man, I just just because you touched on it, bro, that Puff Daddy remix. Mm -hmm. Did y'all do that shit together? Like yeah. was you... him, Yep, him and J Lo was in the studio with us. Damn. But I mean, that nigga's a that nigga's one of them ones too. Yeah. Fuck all them dudes. <laughs> So how was that? Hey, how was that? Uh, that that session was it kind of like, man, what the fuck am I doing here? No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, that was, you know, he came in, paid us, yeah. <laughs> and we did our shit. You know what I mean? That yeah. was that was it. It people think sometimes people think like you go in a session with somebody and there's a whole big thing, cameras and all that shit. Nah, niggas just come through, give your yeah. money, man. You don't get on this for me. Yeah, that's how it is sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, that's history right there, though, too. That glamour shit that people be <laughs> thinking the way it look like, no. that's not it. That's not it, man. That's for TV. It yeah. don't really be like that. For sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, man, thank you, man. Thank you so much for, like I said, jumping and connecting with me tonight, bro. Absolutely. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some more. Um, I would love for it to be some more. Uh, the show. Anytime, man. Y'all, you want to know something from me? I'm an open motherfucking book, man. I don't, I don't, I don't hide shit. You want to talk about something? Let's talk about it. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. I love that conversation. Deep conversations, bro. For sure. Right on, man. Well, you have a good night, man. You too, man. Appreciate it. Oh, right on. All right.